Why are you weak? Why am I strong? Why are some men able to do things other men couldn't think of doing? Why are some men strong and other men weak? Why are some men muscular and other men aren't? Why are some men slim and some men have broad shoulders? I can tell you why. It's because of testosterone. Testosterone plays an important role in any man's life. And the only man that doesn't think about it is testosterone is the man that takes steroids. So we on self-improvement have the duty to be men, right? Every man on self-improvement aspires to be greater, better, stronger, provide for his family. And I tell you, a way to do this a thousand times better is to have high testosterone. Today I'm gonna teach you how you actually get high testosterone. None of that shit with, oh, you do you do six sets of six reps for six minutes and then you go to the sauna for six minutes. No, no life hack shit. Actual biological stuff that helps you grow your testosterone. I just told you what testosterone is good for. You probably know it from your own experience that people with high testosterone have more strength, build muscle way easier, have in general a better, happier life as men. Today, I will not bore you with any facts, any scientific bullshit. Today, I only tell you the actionable steps that you can do to get higher testosterone. First, reduce plastic. Plastic is poison for your testosterone. If you only touch plastic that is like slightly heated up for the whole day, like wearing a plastic t-shirt that will seep into your skin, get into your blood, and it will act like estrogen. This is called an estrogenic. What you hear with this word a million times today, I promise. And the whole point of getting higher testosterone is to reduce estrogenics because Think of estrogenics like weight on your chest. People can teach you how to be stronger, how to run faster with the weight on your chest, but losing estrogenics from your diet is like just telling you to get the weight off and you'll be able to run faster than everybody else because everybody else has this weight on their chest while you just threw it off. So every time I say it's estrogenic, don't do it. Trust me, I've read up on this subject a thousand times. I've read books about this shit, articles, studies, all this. They have been done. And of course, you could say, oh, but 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 I love my plastic t-shirt. Do you love it more than you love high testosterone? Think about it. Would you rather look in the mirror and actually be proud of what you've built, of the muscles on your skin? of the girl that you have, of your, facial, of your facial structure, of your mental capacity that also increases when you have more testosterone? Or would you rather wear that shirt? So trust me, these are all things that you can easily get out of your life. You won't miss them. The first thing is plastic, any plastic. If you can get plastic out of something in your life, get it out. If you can eat food that's not wrapped in plastic, eat food that's not wrapped in plastic, please. That's the first point. Get rid of any plastic in any day of your life. Even if it's just a, a fruit wrapped in a plastic bag. If you can buy fruit that's like maybe a euro or a dollar more expensive than the food that's wrapped in plastic, buy the food that's not wrapped in plastic. Trust me, it's way healthier. That's the first thing. Get rid of any plastic, whether it's on your in your daily routine with your with your toothbrush, whether it's with, with your toothpaste, there are also chemicals in there that are estrogenic. You can, you can buy a bunch of stuff in the links in the description. I've linked a bunch of sort of gadgets that are like a wooden toothbrush, toothpaste tabs, like little, little sort of tablets that you bite down on and then they act like toothbrush, but they're not estrogenic. That's the first thing you do. You get rid of plastic. The second thing you do is you get rid of ultra processed foods. And how you can do this is you watch the video that I've done on the Nova score, the Nova score system explanation video with the guy, with the fat guy amongst all the, all the junk food, with like hungry 
in the thumbnail. That's the video you watch about nutrition. I've explained everything about nutrition there. The only thing you need to know is that this is not optimal for testosterone. They've put some things that are unprocessed in Nova class one, but they're still estrogenic. I'll tell them to you right now. Soy, milk, flaxseed. Those three things you need to watch out for because they're theoretically unprocessed and therefore, like I just told you, unprocessed foods are good for testosterone or at least don't spike your estrogen as much as processed foods. But these three foods, don't eat them. They're in Nova class one, they seem to be healthy. Milk isn't healthy because it's estrogenic. Soy isn't healthy because it's estrogenic. And flaxseed is also estrogenic. You can get all the, all the nutrients from these things in other sort of, in other nutritional pieces. You don't need milk, soy, or flaxseed to ever be in your life again. And if you rather drink milk than have a good body and have all the benefits of antisocial, do it. I don't care. The next thing you need to think about is your lifestyle. Is your lifestyle masculine or is it feminine? Most people live a very feminine life these days. They're wrapped in comfort. They're sitting inside all day long. They're not going out in the forest shirtless to film a video. They don't do that. Why do you think I do this? Do so you think I do this because, oh, I want to support my immune system and all this crap? No, it's simply because it's discomfortable. It's simply because it's cold and discomfort spikes testosterone. Because why do you think your body gives you testosterone? Testosterone is sort of like strength hormone, the hormone that's supposed to give you strength and muscle mass and better mental capacity. Why do you think it gives you this? Because your body needs it if you experience discomfort. So to spike testosterone on the regular through discomfort and yeah, mostly discomfort, right? Through discomfort, all sorts, I'll explain them in a second. It's very important because the more you spike it, the more the, the sort of like, the, 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 the ratio of high testosterone goes up, right? If I make four videos and two of them get like 5,000 views. Then the, the, the other two get zero views. Then the, the, the ratio will still be somewhere in the middle. So it's very important to spike your testosterone because then your body will get more used to having high testosterone and, and it will auto adapt to your high testosterone. So do things that spike your testosterone. How can you feel that your testosterone is spiked? I can't really tell you. It's a thing you have to experience. In my case, it's like my, my hands and everything on my body feels very big. And I feel like I could, I play football, right? I play football and I feel like I could just jump into somebody and just, just, just throw in 10 feet away. That's how I feel when I have like a boost in testosterone. How you get this? It's simple, through discomfort, through meat, through just eating meat, large sums of meat, through not eating bread, because bread is Nova class three, remember this, except you bake your breads yourself, then it's Nova class two, and then you can eat it every single day. So bake your bread yourself. It's also better for your jawline because that tends to be harder. I'll make a video on how to make like jawline bread that helps your jawline to grow and your muscles right here, but that's a separate video. Then talk to girls, talk to girls, right? When, when you're only texting with girls, it sucks to be you, but you know, you know what I mean? Just text something controversial, just text something that isn't ultra safe, right? Don't live an ultra safe life and you'll have high testosterone. Live outside your comfort zone. The whole video could be down to just implement the way of the superior man. This book, I hope you've read it. It's a great book. You, you should have read it. If you didn't read it, read it right now. Implement this book and this lifestyle thing will go away. You'll have a masculine lifestyle, masculine energy and high testosterone. Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing we need to talk about is water. Water is actually bad for you. Not regular water, not like bottled water, but like tap water. Tab water is dangerous for you because think about it. Women take like 
take these pills that prevent them from that prevent them from from getting a baby, and they basically crush their testosterone. And then those women pee, and they go to the toilet, and that then gets into the drinking water because it can't be filtered out. In those filter houses, right, where the where the water gets filtered, and and all the bad things get like thrown away or burned or something, and the good things get into the water again, because you can't really filter for hormones in such a big scale. So the 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 hormones that are in this anti baby pill get into the drinking water, into the tap water, and then get into your body. Think about this. Seriously, think about this shit. This is not a conspiracy theory. You can read up on this. Just Google it. I'll put a link in the description if I find one. If not, you'll just have to Google yourself or believe me. Just don't drink tap water. Get your family to buy like glass bottled water with sparkling water at best. The best case scenario for you to drink is you only drink sparkling water from glass bottles. That's the best water you can get. You can. Go to fancy brands where one bottle is like 20 euros, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You, in general, don't have to. What you have to do though is you have to think about the water quality. If you drink from the tab, in any case, it's gonna be bad for you. In any case, I live in a very clean region, as you see, and even here, the water is contaminated with those hormones, and you can't get them out. If you don't have like a filter in your sink, it's like two hundred dollars something you can buy it on Amazon. But you don't have to. You don't have to buy a two hundred dollar gadget. You can just buy glass bottles of water. In my gym, fortunately, we have like a big tank that's hormone filtered that has one of those filters, and it gets it out. It gets the hormones out. Drink clean water there, but I don't think that every gym has this. So definitely, if your gym has like only a sink, bring water from home. Bring like two big bottles of water, of bottled sparkling water, because in the sparkling water, like in the sparkling part, in those bubbles and those carbonated bubbles, there are like also minerals that are very important for your body. And sparkling water from a glass bottle is just the best you can get. Next thing. The next things are very, very obvious. Of course, get enough sunlight in. If you can't get enough sunlight in, take vitamin D. You have, do not have to buy some some fucking sad lamp or something like from when people have like seasonal depression. You don't need this. You can just buy tablets of vitamin D. Swallow them. Have enough vitamin D for the day. In the winter months, this is good. In the summer months, it's not really important. But I see that if you want like high testosterone, if you need high testosterone, you can sort of biohack yourself and just give yourself two, three of those tablets and just have high testosterone for like a leg session or for a big game that you have. I personally do this before every single football game I have, even though they're in the summer and I theoretically get enough sunlight. In, I take two of these, two of these sort of vitamin D things because I have more strength with it, and I don't take it. So, so now we're going to talk about all the myths about high testosterone. Do you need to do no fab? No, <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. It doesn't make a difference. Of course, over a long time, yes, it makes a difference. But if you have like one or two relapses a week, it doesn't make a difference. Of course, you're an undisciplined piece of shit if you don't do it, and you'll suffer for other reasons. But just from testosterone speaking, jerking off doesn't do anything to your testosterone. I long believed that this couldn't be true and that it had to have some negative effect on testosterone. But it's not true. It's not true. It's not like you can you can like oh 10 times a day or some shit. No. Of course not. That of course then impacts your testosterone, but if you do it like once or twice a month, it won't make a difference. Same thing goes with with uh, regular sex. You can have that as often as possible. It's good for your testosterone. I long believed that it was bad because I thought, in theory, it's the same thing because you you still ejaculate, you know. And I thought if I lose sort of the the the, the sperm, then I don't produce testosterone anymore. But it's a myth. You only produce more. So it really depends on your mindset. 
whether you do it too often or too less or just be comfortable just be comfortable with it that's the only thing you should really be comfortable with don't do it too less don't do it too often and you'll be fine it's not detrimental detrimental to your testosterone unless you overdo it but i guess that goes for everything so i hope you learned a bunch of stuff today i hope you can implement this because this is the only way to, your testosterone will grow it won't grow by watching a 10 minute youtube video it will grow by implementing the thing i told you this is proven by me i started one year ago you can ask all my friends if you know any of them i doubt it but you know what i mean i made more muscles I had a deeper voice, I got a better facial, facial structure. I can show you a video of me like two, three years ago. The only thing I really changed from then to now was I started self-improvement, I started mewing, and I got onto this high testosterone journey. So get onto this journey with me. Do it for your testosterone, do it for your future son, do it for anything you want to do it. Just do it. It's your duty as a man to have high testosterone. Have a nice day and be mindful. By the way, man, if you liked the video, which you probably did because you watched all the way through, which I want to thank you for, you can go down and click the like button. It really helps me continue on this project. You can also write a comment with video requests 99% of the time. I will just film the video for you and help you as best as I can. If you have any problem with this journey, if you have any question left, you can just write the question in the comment. I'll answer it myself always read all the comments that are there and I always answer all of them if there's a question involved. If you like the channel, if you like the videos I make, if you like the nature background and if you like the overall message of my channel, you can go down and subscribe. It's free. It's take, it takes only a second for you and it helps me with a tremendous amount to continue on my journey. If you want more private help, if you want a schedule that's made for you to implement everything I teach here, that's literally like a plan of a week, like, like a sort of like a workout plan. At 9 a.m. you do this, at 10 a.m. you do this, at 15 p.m. you do this, right? If you want this, then you can go down to the links in the description. There's a Calendly sort of booking call and we can do a call and I'll tell you everything that's in my coaching that you can buy online.